Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most massive. Send peace and blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We'll say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is how I welcome you back to the Iqra Weekly Dua series with me, your brother, Brother Muhammad Sa'id. Today, inshallah ta'ala, we are continuing with the series Adhkar after Salah. You studied four du'as, bismillah ta'ala. You can click the card here for you to access those or the previous du'as. Today, inshallah ta'ala, in our session, we'll be studying a beautiful du'a which you can also read after Salah. But first, let's take a break. And when we come back, we we'll study the du'a. Inshallah ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, welcome back to the Ikra Weekly Dua series with me, Brother Saeed. Like I said, today, the dua we're going to study, inshallah, we got it from a hadith reported by Abu Huraira, radallahu an. It says that the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, He who recites the dua, that is, the dua that we are going to study today, after every prayer, will have all his sins forgiven, even if they are as abundant as the foam of the sea. And this is in Sahih al-Muslim. When you are done with your salah, you should say, Subhanallah 33. Alhamdulillah 33. Allahu Akbar 33. And then you say, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. This is the dua that you're going to read. It means, Subhanallah, that is, Allah is free from imperfection. Or in other words, glory be to Allah. Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. And also, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. There is no God, but Allah, He is alone and He has no partner. Lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamd. To him alone belong all sovereignty and all praise. Wahua ala kulli shayin qadir. He is over all things, all powerful. So this is the meaning of the dua. And whilst doing this, uh, uh, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar Fatihi, you use your hands. You can see the lines in the hands which you can use to do your counting. Because there's a hadith which reported that Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did his tasmih with his hands. MashaAllah, not on barakah for you. Also, there's another hadith which is reported by Abu Hurairah He narrated that Abu Dhar said that all prophets of Allah, the wealthy people, have all the rewards. They pray as we pray. They fast as we fast. And they have surplus wealth which they can give in charity. But we have no wealth which we may give in charity. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, O oh, Abu Dhar, should I not teach you phrases by which you acquire the rank of those who excel you? No one can acquire your rank except one who acts like you. He said, Why not? Messenger of Allah. He said, That is the Messenger. Say, The above or the dua which we recited after each prayer that is to say subhanallah 33 alhamdulillah 33 allahu akbar 33 and then la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir so you see and this second hadith is found in abu dawood sunan abu dawood so which means is very very important for us to engage ourselves immediately after the salah. Sometimes we have busy schedules, you know, we run after the masjid. But you should not forget that these adhkars, they are elements of the salah. They are the shield that protects your salah. So you need to put attention to them and learn them fi idhnillahi ta'ala. So don't forget to continue following us, the Ikra Family Production, because this is your best channel which you can learn all your adhkars with regards to your Islamic affairs. And don't forget to check the link in the description of this video to learn more du'as with me, your brother, brother Said. And you can also download the PDF format of it in your phone 
you print it out and help others to have it. You can distribute it to any masjid that is served as a sadaqa to Jariah for you, for me, and for our families. With this, we'll stop here and we'll say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.